guy here <clears throat> going down PCH. And Avalon here. Like Catalina Avalon, but obviously we're not in Catalina. The sky looks good, the sunset, the smog style sunset gives it a cool look. Those palm trees look cool. Looks like they're growing out of the roof. Dawn's liquor here. This is Dawn if you're looking for a this. And the good old uh, Maricicos Mexican restaurant. Mexican style food in America, competing with Boss Trey's Cochinitas. You find there's better Mexican food in America than Mexico. <laughs> That's what I came to the conclusion of. Because you go to these tourist areas in Mexico and everyone's looking to make money off the, the tourists. They got to a skimpy, oh, a burrito, it comes with rice and beans. You get a skimpy little burrito, a little bit of rice and beans. I mean, in America, that meal would probably cost about a dollar. There, it probably cost about 30 cents, you know. And your typical little taco stands and all that right there. Figueroa and PCH. Western. I think the best Western is uh, what was that John Wayne movie? Uh, I forget. <clears throat> but that's how all the uh, bison got in Catalina. I think it's the 30s, 40s, whatever. They're filming Westerns. They wanted wide open areas no buildings or anything to give it a real realistic look for filming these westerns and uh, so they brought a bunch of bison buffaloes really bison but brought a bunch of them out there let them loose there to have them you know in the movie is you know a bunch of buffalo in the wild you know whatever without buildings in the background or anything modern you know and um, then when they were done filming the movies I guess it was cheaper, I mean, easier, probably hard to round them all up for one, you know. They're running wild, they round them up. They probably got them for a good price, and they just left them there. So to this day, there's, you know, wild buffalo in uh, Catalina, or bison, I guess you'd call them, the real name, bison. And um, you can go there and order a, a buffalo burger, they still call it buffalo. You see, back in the day when people came to America and they're writing stories back of, you know, what what kind of, what do they have out here? What's out here? They have what's called uh, buffalo. It's <laughs> the white man's mistake. He mistook the, uh, the bison for a buffalo. <laughs> so they started calling it the buffalo. The buffalo is a water buffalo. It's a gangly looking cow that walks about one mile an hour. Bony shoulders. I mean... Nothing like a buffalo, but it's kind of round horns on the side, almost like a ram or something. It's nothing like a ram. But anyways, the buffalo, as we know as a buffalo, is really a bison. But since they were calling it buffalo for so long before they caught on and printed it as buffalo, buffalo just kept the name buffalo. So 
buffalo remains, you know. <laughs> really a bison, though. A bison is really what we call buffalo. So, just misinterpretation. It's like the cowboy asking the, the Indian, what, what is this here? The, the um, and he's, the Indian probably thought he's pointing towards a, the water buffalo. There's a water buffalo, you know. <laughs> and the, the uh, cowboy dude mistook it for the, the white buffalo. <laughs> so he started calling them the white buffalo. They have the white buffalo and regular buffalo. I don't know if there's really ever such thing as a white buffalo, to be honest. <laughs> and, um, but the misinterpretation was, uh, yeah, that it was a buffalo. A buffalo is a water buffalo. It carries water for you on the farm and so forth. It's not really good for anything that man could use it for except carrying your water. You strap stuff to its back, and it's strong enough to hold weight on its back, but it can't really run. Can't do a whole lot, but just kind of walk along. Yeah. So buffalo to this day in Catalina. Wild buffalo from the film, the filming industry, uh, the movie industry. Thanks to them, we have wild buffalo in Catalina. If you need a loan, go here, Ace Cash and Loan. That's the place to go. The Harley place here, buy your Harley here. Harley Davidson, American made. Old El Polo Lico is now the El Rey Del Maria, whatever. And this has got to be the worst car wash. The only thing good about it is you don't have to dump a bunch of quarters for the um, vacuuming. Pull in there and you get the vacuuming free. I pulled in there without even getting the car wash and got the vacuum. I got my car wash there once and it was awful. The worst car wash ever, except for up the street here. We pay five bucks at the gas station. It's light spraying on the side, it's like someone put a sprinkler on it. it. Didn't do nothing. The worst car wash. Five bucks for someone spraying a sprinkler on your car. You need brushes, you know, to you know, like to hit the side. Something, not just water. No one could hose the car off. So here we are at PCH. El Burrito Junior. Used to get an Asada plate there and a Coke when they first opened up in P on PCH in Redondo. Like 10 bucks, you'd get an Asada plate and a drink. Nowadays, an Asada plate and a drink there cost you 20 bucks, man. <laughs> yeah, you go to Hennessy's, you order a beer, it's like nine something for a beer. This is, so man, it cost me over 200 bucks to get drunk there, you know. <laughs> you know, more with the tip and everything. Jeez. It's like, I don't really drink, but that's the price, you know. Good thing. I think you could buy a 12 pack for probably 16 bucks. Hey, 9.75 or something for a beer, you know? It's crazy. I mean, that's for like a Heineken, whatever, but you probably get a regular one for a dollar less. Same ripoff deal, you know. Big slicker here. And the eat. If you're hungry and you want to eat, go to the eat. <laughs> Smith Cycles. Malcolm Smith opened that place up back in the day. And the nuke. You want to get nuked go to the nuke that little restaurant right there called the nuke strange name their their saying is 
get nuked at the nuke. You could get the explosive breakfast, it's called. That's like something like $7.99, eggs, bacon, uh, hash browns, something like that. Some weird names they got there. Shell station here. <sighs> this place for lease here. It's been for lease here forever on every earth. Nothing there. And these places change depending where you're at coming up here. Got my tires, someone slashed my tires at 7-Eleven here about a month ago. Some joker slashed my tire. Some punk, you know, strung out on whatever. You know the type. Derelict. Some scrawny guy sunken in cheeks, you know, a tweaker, you know what I mean? You should have seen this guy running out. Hey, wait. Uh, jumped in some old car that's spewing out smoke. And they tore out of there. Yeah, 7-Eleven here. Going to get a drink. <laughs>